no, stop. Hit the, we got hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Hello, gentlemen. Gamer cleans his room for the first time ever. Dropping frames like my uncle drops baby. Oh, and there it is, ladies and gents. Oh, well, good morning, you little dirty shitbag fuck whistles. Oh, sorry, I can't. Never mind. Hello again, gamers and gamets. As you can see, I'm here in the midst of the factory grounds. Now, if you've been following any satisfactory news, surely you've seen that the toilet flush update is coming out. Uh, oh yeah, also 1.0. So that means for me that the clock is ticking because I'm completing phase 4 before 1.0. And it might be in this video, it might take two videos, maybe even three, but uh, that's the goal. And with that simple goal in mind, I will do whatever it takes to get phase four complete. Even if it means I have to build some mad spaghetti. So in the previous video, I made magnetic field generators. Well, all we've got left now is 1,000 thermal propulsion rockets and 1,000 nuclear pasta. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. Now this won't be a trivial task at all. These are some of the most complicated parts that you can make in the entire game. So I'm just going to do my best with all the resources I have available. But with that being said, it's time to start building guys. So let's do this. Let's finish phase four. First things first, I'm going to load up a large train with all kinds of resources that I need for factory building. I know it's been a hot minute since I uploaded the last, but uh, the Elden Ring DLC came out, you see. I'm sure you understand. Plus, the voices have been winning in my um, inner monologue conversations, and ants keep destroying my fucking legs. You guys know how it is. Oh, that's a giant fucking snake. Oh god, oh god, here comes the train, oh god! Am I gonna block traffic here? Yes, almost certainly. As you know, I have got train stations all over the map now. Uh, we've got a factory here in the Forest of Legend. So, we don't have one here. Maybe I can use this land. I think there's abundant resources. Let's try it. Uh, looks like this place needs some work still. Very much a lot of work. All right, gamers and gamets, I got another load on my train cars going back. We're gonna need a lot, a lot of resources for this. I really should have just built this right in the middle of sport construction downtown, shouldn't I? So I don't have to go back and forth for all these resources, but you know what? I love doing things the hard way. Uh, oh God, fuck shit. Guys, uh, I'm gonna be real, this isn't good. I, I'm getting a bad feeling, and I haven't even started yet. But I've got no choice but to try. So it's time to start building for real. Okay guys, I finally set up my train yard here. Uh, it's been almost two hours, and I'm decided I'm gonna work- Ow, fucking ant on my foot. I'm gonna work- uh, Motherfucker. Uh, I'm gonna work backwards, so I'm starting with the thermal propulsion rockets. The manufacturers right here. This is where they're gonna be produced. And, of course, how I'm going to be producing these things, I have yet to decide. But don't worry. I don't need any fancy calculators or anything like that. Let's just do this the old-fashioned way and just- slap some things down the, the game it out way. See how chaotic I can really make it. You're never gonna believe this. Gamer cleans his room for the first time ever. Yeah, that's right, you motherfucking ants. You come into my turf, you get sucked up in the fucking vacuum. You just think you can bite my fucking feet all day long. And I ain't gonna do nothing about it. Well, I might be building a factory, but you motherfuckers, get out of my room. Curse you, ants! Curse you, bear! Okay, I'm back. I just got done punishing all those ants in my room. Now there's factory to factory. What the fuck is that crawling on my foot? Dog, I can't tell you how difficult this is for some reason. I'm just trying to build a fucking factory. Gaming over fucking 25 is more like gaming over 50. The ants are getting creative. They're employing psychological damage now, too. They're trying to prevent me from getting to phase four. They're trying to stop us. They can't. 
Well guys, it took a piece of my sanity, several hours of my life, as well as all the requirements of my PC. Dropping frames like my uncle drops babies. I have officially been building on the entire world of Satisfactory, and man, the game is starting to really feel it. But rest assured, I've been using every ounce of my free time in the needless pursuit of completing this arbitrary objective of completing phase 4 before 1.0 comes out. And I'm currently working on the thermal propulsion rockets. It really looks like this isn't four or five hours of work, but uh, trust me, you not only do you have to lay the conveyor belts, you have to lay them in the right way, and I've, you also have to take into consideration that I'm a smooth brain. So yeah, guys, there's really not much else to do but get back to it. I truly believe that if I just set my mind to this single task of completing Phase 4, that I can do it. It seems like a completely daunting, impossible problem, but you just gotta break it down, one thing at a time. So I guess I'll see you guys when I am yet again several hours or days older. But I swear I will not stop working. Ten hours. You know guys, I probably don't normally talk about how long it actually takes me to make e every video here, but... Ten hours for one thermal propulsion rocket per minute. I have pre-built all the factory. All that I need to do now is just flip a single power switch and everything from the very beginning, the iron ingots, the smeltering, the oil, all that will be processed into basic parts, then complex parts, and the more complicated parts, and finally, <gasps> the thermal propulsion rockets right here. I've been here working like I'm actually getting paid for this factory work, but I'm not. Anyway, gamers, I expect that there may be problems or that it's going to take a very long time for all these machines to start up, so let's just do it. Let's just flip the lever. Oh, something's already flowing. Oh yeah, we're, we're importing some heavy modular frames because I'm still making an excess of those. If you're not a spaghetti lover, just go ahead and look away right now because... Oh boy. Oh, we already got plastic flowing. Especially this part feels particularly chaotic. I like to just turn my brain off and get all this shit done, and it's been working out pretty well. Wow, lots of stuff is flowing now, okay. So yeah, most of the stuff to make these thermal propulsion rockets, whatever they're called, uh, is from on site. So I got crude oil coming in from way over there on a pipeline. And there it is. You can see I actually made, a, I made an oil tower, so it pumps up first and then gravity takes it down. And I get my iron, copper, and quartz, and water from basically just right here. Nitrogen comes by train, of course. Turns out there's no nearby nitrogen sources, so I'm actually getting mine way over here. Oh, hey, that's our first super advanced part. The first fused modular frame. And I know I mentioned this earlier, but holy crap, I'm losing frames like crazy. Uh, I think... My game is actually reaching a, a limit now. But it can't be because we need nuclear pasta next. That's right. We're still not fucking done. This is like the Lord of the Rings of video game series. It will never end. Anyway, I guess I'll just sit here and vibe. I suspect it might take like 15 minutes for us to get the very first thermal propulsion rocket. So while we're waiting, let's just see what I can do for nuclear pasta. Okay, the machines are starting to fill up. It's taking quite a lot of time, of course. Oh, I made a mistake here. I accidentally put aluminum ingots instead of uh, aluminum casings for my heat sinks. That'll fix it right up. Yes, the machines are machining quite well. So you may not like it, but this is what capitalism is all about. The more machines, the more profit, the more lag that the game server experiences. Have you ever noticed when you're walking down the sidewalk these days, a gentleman stuttering nearby, 
That's the lag induced by the capitalism. What the hell is that? We got a cooling system on the belts? Damn, son. No, oh, it appears my math didn't actually math correctly. Okay. Looks like we got turbo motors going now. Slightly. Very slowly. Like clockwork. Like busy bees, they do my bidding. Craft for me. Craft phase four into being. Hello. Yes, today I am manufacturing robotic parts, yes. No, you will not disobey me. Wait, is this the last one that it needs? Oh, yes, it's starting. So yeah, guys, overall that was pretty good for a factory that I just uh, set all up and then turned on. I made like one or two mistakes here and there. But yeah, this is a factory that makes thermal propulsion rockets from scratch. Well, if you ignore the fact that I'm importing a couple resources like aluminum ingots and uh, heavy frames and nitrogen gas, just ignore all that. It's from scratch, okay? It's all part of the network, man. See, we got factories all over the place. All of them interconnected now. I even finished this rail line over here leading up north so that I have a complete loop. Oh, and there it is, ladies and gents. Germs and genials. Gamers and gamets. I don't know what. Look at that. It's like a... It's like a rocket engine. Tis a beautiful thing, is it not? I've got a nice little victory lap here set up for them. Woo! Well, oh god, I'm going up to the moron sphere again. No. Now that that's all said and done, let's check in. Back with our uh, other phase four factories, see how they're doing. Okay, and it looks like this one's been very prosperous. I just got an entire train car of them. And there's more coming. Okay, I'm up here at the storage area and you can see I don't have infinite of them. They, they are indeed finite and I'm not yet slamming them into here and just shredding them, so that's good. Because I'd rather take them over to the space elevator. Oh God. I forgot how chaotic this shit was. Oh, maybe this is part of the lag. With a train full of magnetic field generators and a factory complete for the thermal propulsion rockets, I'm headed back home. A fine day's work in Satisfactory, and now with 1.0 coming up less than two months away, in fact. I feel like I have a little more insurance to finish this by the time 1.0 comes out. Alright, here we are, back in downtown sport construction. Let's grab some other assembly parts and head over to the space elevator. Alright, I'm going to attempt to pilot this puppy myself and hopefully I don't get into an accident with another train. We got a green light. Oh, it was red. Fuck. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, we're back here at the Mega Factory. Let's check on the other... What was it called? Uh, assembly Director System. That's what it was. Okay, not nearly as many of these. <laughs> Can't help but notice my production of these is way less than magnetic field generators. Oh, well. I can imagine they're probably both going to be finished before a nuclear pasta. Oh shit, I forgot I parked my train here. I'm holding up traffic. Oh god, I'm holding up traffic. Now they're never going to make my assembly director systems in time. Just go. Go, go, go. Slam on the gas. Alright, I don't manually drive through here often. This is normally the realm of uh, NPC trains, but here we go. Oh fuck, stop. Hit the, hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Well, guys, time to start feeding them to the space elevator. Starting with the very first ever thermal propulsion rockets. Bing, bing. Followed by a host of magnetic field generators. There they go. And, uh... 
Why not? Diversity is the spice of life. Throw in the assembly director systems. So all that's left now is nuclear pasta, possibly the most complicated or difficult part to make in the entire game. So I have that to look forward to. And I think I'm gonna have to get started because, oh man, is it just me or is this looking like I really haven't made as much progress as I thought I did? At least with magnetic field generators, I think we'll be there pretty soon. But yeah, guys, I guess instead of making this just one long ass video where I finish phase four, it might make a little more sense for me to break this up. So we have one colossal challenge left, which is the nuclear pasta. And then, well, we're pretty much there. So that sounds like one, maybe two more videos. Uh, I can definitely do that in the time before, before 1.0 comes out, so look forward to us finishing this phase 4 together. In the meantime, I'm just going to get hit by this train. <laughs> I like the pain a little though. Ooh, feels nice in my bones. I hope you guys are looking forward to more games and more 1.0 satisfactory in the future. If you are, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you're enjoying. I need your feedback to know what you like. And I'll use that to grow. And if you enjoyed the video, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe for more. Slap your dick on the keyboard and just all over that subscribe button.